Welcome back to our higher level IB Chemistry video series. This is the second video in IB Chemistry Topic 20, Organic Chemistry, where we will be looking at the second group within configurational isomers, optical isomers, and their optical activity. Before watching this video, ensure you have watched our first IB Chemistry Topic 20 video, introducing configurational isomers, as this video is a direct continuation. Optical isomers occur in all species, created due to the presence of four different atoms or groups attached to a single carbon atom, creating two non-superimposable mirror images, known as enantiomers. But what does this all mean? Let's consider two examples, 2-bromo-2-chlorobutane and 2 methyl butan one ol represented by the following displayed formula. Starting with 2-bromo-2-chlorobutane, we can see the first, third and fourth carbons do not have four different groups attached but the second carbon has a bromine, chlorine, CH3, and C2H5 group. Meanwhile, in 2-methylbutan-1-ol, the second carbon is also the only atom with four different groups attached. Hydrogen, CH2OH, CH3, and C2H5. We therefore term each of these carbons a chiral carbon, and their overall molecules are thus considered chiral. Drawing each molecule in a tetrahedral arrangement, centred around their chiral carbon, we create the following structures. Using a dotted line to denote a mirror, we can then draw a non-superimposable mirror image for each molecule. This completes two enantiomers for each molecule. Note, non-superimposable means that when placed on top of one another, the two enantiomers do not align. Optical isomerism can also occur within cyclic compounds. However, as only two groups are attached to each carbon atom, we consider the rest of the molecule once clockwise and once anticlockwise to theorize the remaining two groups and determine if there are four different groups attached. Let's talk through two examples, 1-methyl cyclopropane and 1,2-dimethyl cyclobutane, represented by the following displayed formula. Starting with 1-methyl cyclopropane, we can ignore the two carbons with the two hydrogens attached as they cannot have four different groups. Working clockwise from the remaining carbon, we can create a theoretical group of CH2CH2 CH2, and anticlockwise CH2CH2. CH2. Since these two groups are identical, this carbon would not be chiral, despite the two different groups it has bound. In 1,2-dimethyl cyclobutane, once again we ignore the carbons with two hydrogens, i.e. the bottom two. Working clockwise from the top left carbon, we create the theoretical group of CH3CH2CH2 and anticlockwise, CH2, CH2, CH, CH3. Since these two groups are different, and it has two further different groups bound, H and CH3, it has four different groups in total, and so is chiral. When repeating this process for the top right carbon, we see the same groups, thus two making it chiral. This molecule therefore has two chiral carbons, and is considered chiral. However, if we attempted to draw the enantiomers for this molecule, by drawing a dotted line to denote a mirror, and following the same process as before, we create two superimposable mirror images, as when placed on top of each other, they align. This example introduces a vital concept. In cyclic compounds with more than one chiral carbon, enantiomers, and thus optical isomerism, only exist if it is asymmetrical. Reviewing our example of 1,2-dimethyl cyclobutane, we can see this vertical plane of symmetry. Let's review this concept with an example question. 2-methyl-5-chlorocyclopentane is an organic compound. A. Draw the displayed formula, labelling any chiral carbons present, and B. Determine if it exhibits optical isomerism and draw any enantiomers formed. First, we draw the structure of 2 methyl 5 chlorocyclopentane a pentane ring with a methyl group on the second carbon and chlorine group on the fifth carbon. It does not matter which carbon you decide to number as one, but the leftmost carbon is typically used counting clockwise from here. Ignoring all carbons with two of the same atom attached, we are left with the carbon 2 and 5. Using our clockwise anticlockwise trick, we would get the groups of CH2, CH2, CHCl, CH2, CH2, CH, Cl, CH2, CH2, H and CH3 for the second carbon, and 
CH2, CH, CH3, CH2, 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 CH, CH3, CH2, H and Cl for the fifth carbon. Since each carbon has four different groups, both would be chiral. Looking at the molecule, there is no line of symmetry, and so the overall molecule will exhibit optical isomerism. We can therefore draw a dotted line to denote a mirror, and the other enantiomer as a non-superimposable mirror image. It is important at this stage to note that whilst rare for your exam, multiple chiral carbons can appear in a non-cyclic molecule. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.